Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Raspberry Pi OS onto an SSD so that you can boot the Raspberry Pi from the SSD. And the reason you'll want to do that is that it boots and performs so much faster from an SSD than it does from the SD card. The SD card read and write performance isn't great at all. So uh, first of all, what you will need for this video, uh, you will need an SD card uh, to put Raspberry Pi OS onto in the first place, uh, because we're going to put that onto there. We're then going to go onto the Raspberry Pi itself, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the Raspberry Pi Imager software to copy that image to an SSD. Uh, we're going to change the settings in the Raspberry Pi so it boots off the USB first. So what you'll need is an SSD and it needs to be an external SSD. Now I'm not telling you which one to get because this isn't a sales pitch, this is just um, how to um, get a Raspberry Pi OS working off an SSD. So what I recommend is something like this, um, 120 gigabytes for £25, not bad at all. Um, I, I've used one of these and it boots quite well and it gives you 120 gigabytes of space. Obviously you can go more expensive and the more expensive you go in theory you'll get more space and maybe a better performance. But this does the job uh, and it will certainly show you um, the capabilities of the Raspberry Pi booting from an external SSD. Uh, what you'll also need is obviously an SD card. Uh, you, you can get SD cards for all sorts of uh, prices. If you're just going to use it once, then you can go for a cheaper one. But I, I recommend uh, one of these sand discs are usually quite good. And you can see you can get it for £8.35. So um, you kind of want the number 10 on there. That, that usually works better. Um, but £8.35, um, you're only going to use it um, just to get Raspberry Pi OS installed in the first place. So now you've got an SD card and you'll have an external SSD, um, this is what you're going to do. So if you're using Windows, um, what you want to do is open a web browser. I'm using Chrome, but you can use Edge. What you're going to do is go to raspberrypi.com forward slash software and you're going to scroll down until you see this install Raspberry Pi OS, use an imager and you're going to click download for Windows. If you're using a Mac, you're going to use this download link here. If you're using Ubuntu or something Ubuntu based, like even Debian, this works. You can download for Ubuntu for x86. So with that downloaded, you can close this window. We can go to the File Explorer, go to the download section, and you see this image here. And what you're going to do is double click. You select yes there, click install, and then you can leave this box ticked, and that will run the Raspberry Pi imager. And what you want to do is choose your device that you're installing it onto. So in this case, Raspberry Pi 5. Choose the operating system, and you're going to choose Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit, and then choose the storage. Now it doesn't matter whether you're using Windows or Linux for this. So um, I'm going to be using Linux. So for instance, I'm using uh, Debian. So what I'm going to do is type sudo rpi imager. And the same uh, thing applies. So I'm going to minimize that. Click choose device, Raspberry Pi 5, choose the operating system, Raspberry Pi OS, and then choose the storage. And I've got a 64 gigabyte storage attached. So I click there, and then I'm going to click next. Would I like to apply any customizations? I'm going to say no here. And it's going to tell me all of existing data is going to be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm going to click yes. And now it's going to prepare to write to the SD card. So it doesn't matter if you're using Windows or Linux or Mac for this, this application works the same way. And this can take about 15 to 20 minutes, so uh, you can go and get a drink at this point. So one thing I did uh, neglect to mention was obviously to be able to write to an SD card, you will need an SD card reader. Now a lot of computers have an SD card reader in it, so some of them use these big adapters and you put the micro SD into the big adapter and you can plug that into a full size SD card reader on your machine. Uh, you might have a micro SD card reader already in your machine. If you don't, you can buy these USB ones. Uh, essentially, you plug one into your USB and then you put your little SD card in the slot um, available. Um, so there's multiple versions of this available. Um, Four ninety nine, six ninety nine, uh, nothing too expensive. Uh, at some point, I'm going to do a video of all the little tools I 
use to do certain things because these are the sort of things that you buy they're relatively cheap but they obviously serve a very good purpose so yeah you will need one of these in order to be able to use the Raspberry Pi config software unless you've got an SD card read it as part of your computer so you can see now that the SD card has been read and it says you can now remove the SD card from the reader so what we'll do is we'll close that and we'll close this application down I'm going to take the SD card out and I'm going to pop it into the Raspberry Pi uh, nothing we've shown thus far is any different to um, setting up a Raspberry Pi anyway um, but the next bit will show you how then to get that onto an SSD. So here we are, um, the first bit with the Raspberry Pi, you select your, where you're from, your language and your time zone. Click next, enter a username, give it a password. Next, um, connect to your Wi Fi. Click next. Uh, choose your web browser. I'm going to choose Firefox. Click next. And then click next. It now says my system is up to date. Click OK. And we're going to restart. So here we are inside the Raspberry Pi and this is booting from the normal SD card. So what we want to do is boot from the SSD. So if we open a terminal, you can click this button at the top here to open a terminal. I've made it slightly larger. So what we want to type now is sudo raspberry-config. And what you want to do is go down to number six. You can use the arrow keys. Go down to number six, press enter. And then at A4, so you want to scroll down using the arrow keys to get to A4, you press return there. And you've got three options, SD card, NVMe, USB boot or network boot. So the one we're going to choose is USB boot. And what will happen is if you've got a USB SSD drive installed to the USB port, it will boot from that or attempt to boot from that. And if it can't boot from that, then it will fall back to the SD card. Um, so at the moment it's the opposite way around it's going to boot from the SD card and if it can't find an SD card then it will boot from uh, the USB so we're going to go for number two and click OK uh, now would you like to reboot yes you would so here we are rebooted. At this point you want to insert your, your um, SSD and you want to insert it into one of the blue um, slots. And you see uh, mine's been spotted as a removable drive. I'm just going to click cancel here and I'm going to click cancel for that message as well. So what we want to do now is there's two things you can do. So um, obviously we've got Raspberry Pi OS already installed so if we want to install this version of Raspberry Pi OS and anything that you've already installed so say you've already installed stuff on your Raspberry Pi and want to keep the same operating system you can run the SD card copier so up here if you go down to accessories you'll see SD card copier if I click that it's going to say copy from which device uh, and we're going to choose the MMC BLK0 which is your SD card and where you're going to copy it to and it's the SSD and now if I click start it's going to write the current operating system onto that SSD verbatim so that that's what it's going to do and it says it will erase all the contents of the SSD so if you're using an SSD that you've got data on um, you don't want to do this uh, but if it's a blank SSD or you don't care about the data on it you can just click yes and then it will prepare the partitions and start copying the operating system onto it. And there we have it, it says copy complete, so I click OK and we can close that down. And now what we can do is uh, we can restart the Raspberry Pi and it should boot into the SSD. Now it's worth noting that if you wanted to do a different operating system, what you can do is you can run the Raspberry Pi imager uh, choose your device, so Raspberry Pi 5, choose your operating system. 
So say you wanted to choose one of the Ubuntu, such as Ubuntu 23.10, you would click that, choose the storage, and you can choose the SSD. And then if I write that out, that would um, be the operating system that boots on from the SSD. So the important part of getting it to boot from SSD was the Raspberry config stage. So let's reboot now and we should boot in to the SSD. So here we are inside Raspberry Pi OS and it's booting from the SSD, not from the SD card. I actually took the SD card out to prove that it would work. And if I go to the file system, you can see all I've got is the SSD in there. There's no SD card. So that's it. What you'll find if you boot from the SSD versus an SD card is the performance is completely spectacular. You'll have so much more enjoyment using your Raspberry Pi from an external SSD than you will ever will from using the SD card. And that is the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.